Yeah? So? Where are you off? I've uh, arranged to meet Craig. Have you just got back? Yeah, last night. How was it? Oh, I still can't believe it. It was amazing, right? They sent this big limousine to pick us up, put us up in this wanky hotel by the canal. Hey, Nana saw Ricky from the Kaiser Chiefs at the bar. No way. Yeah. And the magazine have said if the shots turn out all right, they'll be sending me to London next. Oh, that's brilliant. Well done. Oh, thanks. Have you um, spoken to, to Craig? Yeah, yeah. Why? He got a bit grief last night. Oh, Darren. Oh, he's an idiot. I don't even know why he listens to him. I'll tell you what, I'll, um, I'll come with you, see if he's all right. All oh, right. Kind of a lads thing. We're gonna drink beer and play pool, you know that sort of thing. All right, okay. But um, I'll tell him to give you a call though. Um, no, no, I'll um, I'll see you later. Sarah, look, forget it. I'm I'm being an idiot. Come on, it'll be fun. Sure. Oh, cool. Yeah. You can't just guess if you haven't got all the clues. Why not? But it's Mrs. White in the library with the rope. No, I'm, I'm not having this, right? He's looked at the cards. Just because you can't win without cheating. Well, you have to play fair. Look, we'll start again, and this time oh. I will deal. No, no, Dad. Never do we have to. Yes, we do, Suzanne. <gasps> Rules are there for a reason. I'll get it. The gilly. Oh, can you remind me to take that documentary tonight about the battleship? Fantastic. Oh, yes, you are. No, Mum, he's a soldier. Whoa! Uncle Noel? <laughs> Mom! Surprised you even remembered our address. Did you get the taxi? Yeah, £42.40. I don't believe it. <laughs> don't worry, Suze. I'll pay you back. I must have dropped a word of notes. Oh, yeah, our coffee here for you, mate. It's your brother you sort him out. If he's sick on my new rug... He'll be fine. Hey? How'd you all... Uh... <laughs> hey! Aww. You just can't come in through the door, can you? And let down my big brother. <laughs> Never! Right, presents. No, I. But first, who's for a wee dram? So, what brings you to Chester? Yeah, I thought you were in Barbados or something. In the middle of a world tour. A tour, that's sad to say, has just gone belly up. Here we go. Wasn't my fault, Nev. She came on to me. <laughs> I mean, I knew she'd been hanging around the singer, but I didn't know she was expecting his kid. Oh, no! Anyway, enough about me. I hear you've bought a shop. Yeah, it's a living. Right, then. Who's hungry? Oh. <sighs> Drop the act, Mercedes. It's not an act. You were nowhere near it when it fell. And how would you know you weren't even here? I was in the building. Plus, I know a liar when I see one. And I've got witnesses. <laughs> Your family? I would knock to the floor. My spine would compress and I had concussion. I may even have to cancel my wedding for this. Really? A doctor's note. <laughs> for future reference, concussion spelt with two S's. Fine. Let the insurance company sign. Look, I've got a better idea. Why don't we open a bottle of wine and we can sit down and we can watch the replay on CCTV? You could have messed with it. <laughs> Nightclub in Mirabal Horror. Tragedy as young woman's too crippled to walk down the aisle. Local papers are gonna love that, Claire. You're a pathological liar, Mercedes. You even pulled the same trick on Louise. This time it's different. Ten grand and what you're at. <laughs> I wouldn't even pay you ten pence. Now get out of my club before I hurt you for real. My advice, girls like Mercedes, you're not going to win. <laughs> Give her a few grand, get rid of her. Once word gets out, you'll have every con artist in a 50-mile radius around here. Well, it's your word against us. <sighs> you're loving this, aren't you? This has got nothing to do with me. It's your business. Exactly. It's my business. <sighs> I'm too busy for this. Ambitious. It's ruined my wedding. I think it's worth a few grand. Good luck. About the tip. Please. And what's in it for me? I give you a cut of money. It's not the money I'm interested in. I'm about to get married. Yeah, well, it adds to the fun, don't you think? You know where I am if you change your mind.
Here you go. Oh, sorry, I want me a second, Freddy. Look, I know this isn't easy for you, all right, but you're gonna have to let it go. Okay, she's she's done a thing and now she's back, okay, with you. Yeah. And I'm okay with it. I really am. But it's difficult. It's complicated. You don't think I know that? Do you and Spike get jealous of each other? He's cool. Then you have no idea what I'm going through. Oh, I'm sorry, that was Freddy. He's got this amazing job in the Maldives. Can you imagine? Sun and sandy beaches. Right. So why is he calling you? Well, just to let me know when the when the magazine's out. Oh. Hey, have you forgotten something? Craig? Hello, is that Freddy? All right, listen up. This is Sarah's boyfriend, and I'm telling you she's not interested, so stop calling. Craig! <laughs> the job's over now, mate, all right? She's back with me. So go back to your baby oil and stop bothering her. Have a nice life. <sighs> Gonna finish this game or what? Oh, it's wicked. Yeah, thanks. I'm glad you like them. Reese, can you lay the table, please? Where was I? Um, <laughs> Indonesia. Oh, yeah. So there we were, surrounded by a bevy of Bali and beauties. And the guy who ran the place was like, these are your assistants. Anything you need, just ask. What are you supposed to be there overnight? Stayed three weeks. <laughs> yeah. Reese! Don't blame you, mate. So, you in a band? Reese, can you lay the table, please? Yeah, we're recording a demo at the moment, actually. Nice one. Hey, my mate Depp's in loads of massive bands. Hey, do you want me to ask him if any need a drummer? That would be sound. Rick, if I can just have your attention for one second, can you please lay the table? The stew's in the oven. Leave it simmering for half an hour till it buzzes, all right? Am I deaf? Don't speak to your mother like that. Mate, I've owned restaurants. I know what goes on in kitchens. You don't want to get on the wrong side of the chef. Sorry. Thank you. Oh, I nearly forgot. Oh, thanks. It's lovely. Right. Josh? Do you want to show me my pad? Look, put him in your room. You can bunk him, Reese. All right. Yeah. Nev, keep your eye on him. I don't want him and Reese on that wacky backy like last time. It'll be fine. Right, I'm off. Bye, love. 